Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today I am very excited. Why? $420. What do you get for $420? Possibly the best value for your money in a laptop computer anywhere. This computer has a ton of performance capabilities and features. For that price point, it's an incredible value. If you need a computer for traveling, work, school, something that will run web browsers, watch videos, stream videos, that will do Facebook and Twitter and play casual gaming such as Minecraft and World of Tanks and League of Legends. If you want a machine that is relatively lightweight, it's under five pounds, with a long battery life rated to about seven hours, yeah, came to the right video. For $420, you've got a machine that you can use for basically any general Windows task that will give you real performance at a budget price. 15.6 inch screen, full HD. This is not some cut down budget machine that skimps on performance or features. I really, really like this machine for the price. Now, let me go through the specifications really quickly and then we'll open it up and we'll talk about it some more. You get an Intel i5 6200U processor. What in the world does that mean? It has two processing cores and it has four execution threads. It's a good mid-level processing chip. It's not some entry level or budget chip from Intel. This is a real uh, mobile processor at a high performance level for laptops. Its base clock speed is 2.3 gigahertz with a turbo to, three, uh, to, excuse me, to 2.8 gigahertz. It's a good chip. You get eight gigabytes of system RAM. For $420 to get eight gigabytes of RAM is excellent. Um, this is the least expensive laptop I have ever reviewed that has eight gigabytes at this price. Most machines at this price have four. 120 gigabyte solid state boot drive, wicked fast boot performance right out of the box. Windows will boot quickly, your programs will launch quickly, you can have multiple web browsers open, very, very good performance. This includes Intel's HD 520 graphics chip. It's built into the processor, it's good for casual games. It will absolutely play things, as I said, uh, Minecraft, League of Legends, World of Tanks, casual games like that. This is not designed for hardcore gaming. It's not a dedicated gaming laptop. So if you think you're gonna play Grand Theft Auto V and Call of Duty, forget it, it won't. But at $420, no laptop will. You've gotta spend about twice this much money, uh, twice this money, you've gotta spend about 800 to get a true gaming laptop. But if you set those games aside, it will do everything else. And that's really cool for $420. This includes a DVD drive. It includes a, uh, it will read and write CDs and DVDs. So it's a DVD burner as well. It includes what's called AC Wi-Fi, which is the latest and greatest version of the wireless access standard. So very fast connections to hotspots, wireless access points, uh, et cetera. It also includes gigabit ethernet. So you can certainly plug uh, a cable in if you wish to have wired networking. It includes Bluetooth, a SD memory card reader, and USB 3.0 super speed ports. For $420, what more do you want? And of course, Windows 10. But you've probably heard me talk enough, you'd like to see a laptop. So let's see what's in here. I'll tell you, they do make these boxes awfully small these days. Oh, cool, when you open it, this is what you see inside. Setup instructions. Let me give you the short version of this. Take it out of the box, plug one end of the cable into the wall, the other end of the laptop, and push the power button. There you go. Let's see what's on this just for fun. And of course they label everything. I mean, it's nice to have, but... What's in here? On this side of the box over here, we, oop, nope, I didn't. We have the power brick. Now, how big is the power brick? Uh, that's the power cable, and the power brick is here. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look how small that is. Um, I have reviewed some laptops that have bricks that are this long and this wide, and they're just huge. That is a little, that is nice. Good job, HP, for putting in a small one, because if you want to travel, if you're flying on an airplane or you're, or you're 
just commuting back and forth to work or to school. Who wants to carry some big, you know, heavy power brick with you? I like that power brick. That is very good. And then all you have left in there is the laptop. And we'll just slide this out. Oh, that looks nice. What else is in here? Limited warranty. It has a one year parts and labor warranty. Save the box in case you ever have to send it in for warranty. And then this sheet has tech support numbers. This is nice. Worldwide tech support. They've got basically phone numbers from everywhere from Algeria to Albania, all the way down to Vietnam and Yemen. So if you're traveling and you need support anywhere in the world, HP provides worldwide support. Take the foam pieces off. That is nice and lightweight. I mean, okay, it's not an ultra book, it's not an ultra portable, but that's nice. Take the plastic off. It's always fun to open up a new laptop. I will put this in my trash pile. So the top of the laptop is meant to look like metal, but it's not. Uh, that is going, it's plastic, but um, these are ridged. This is not just decorations. When I rub my finger across, it looks like the microphone picks it up. So um, it is ridged, if you care. And the bottom of the laptop is just black plastic. There is, this is rubber here, and there are two rubber feet down here. Now, here's what's nice. The battery's removable. Some of the laptops I've reviewed, most notably um, an ASUS $530 laptop I reviewed a month ago, the battery is not removable in those machines. It is included in the machine and you really can't open it. This, completely removable battery. So if the battery stops holding the charge, you can just buy another one of these, no big deal. Good choice, HP. A lot of people like to rag on HP, but you know what? These are good features. I like this. And it just pops back in and you just click the two locking switches over, no problem. Let's see if it opens without me having to hold it down. Now, none of these machines do that, unfortunately. The least expensive machine I've reviewed where you can lift the top, the, the screen up without having to hold the machine is an $800 Dell gaming machine. That one, because it weighs seven pounds, if you pull up on the screen, it just lifts. This, if I pull up on the screen, it takes the whole machine with it. So, unfortunately, they are all this way these days. So you have to hold it down and then do that. There is a fabric piece of protector cover on there. Take that off. And here you go. Nice, pretty 15.6 inch full HD, 1080p screen. You have got a full keyboard with a number, uh, number pad over here. Trackpad here. Um, I like this, this is nice. The buttons for your trackpad are real buttons. A lot of laptops are reviewed lately, and this is the kind of thing that you only really get when you op do an unboxing and touch the machine. A lot of them have what's called virtual or fake buttons where you just kind of move your finger where a button should be and press and hope it works. This, this, not only are these real buttons, but they make a click when you press them. You, it's very obvious where the buttons are. I like that. Otherwise, it's too easy to have fake presses. Power button's up here. I'm going to close it for a second because I want to show you the ports on the side. On this side of the laptop, we have got our DVD drive right here. This is your DVD reader and writer for playing movies or listening to CDs. There is a memory card reader right here. This is mostly for SD memory cards. There is a USB port here, and that is a USB 2.0 port. What would you use that port for? Printers, keyboards, mice. I personally use a standard mouse. I don't usually use the trackpad unless I'm like on an airplane, I would use it there. But that was perfect for a mouse or a printer or something like that. On the other side of the machine, we have got our ethernet port, our gigabit ethernet port. Excellent for if you have a wired connection, by all means plug it in. There is an HDMI port right here for plugging into an external monitor or projector. And then these are your USB super speed ports. What would you use those for? Uh, an external hard drive, a USB thumb drive, a flash drive, that's where you'll get your performance is on the left side of the computer. And then there is a microphone, uh, excuse me, not a microphone, a headphone jack right here if you want to listen to headphones and it's conveniently located at the front of the machine rather than back so the cord doesn't get tangled up. Nice. The power connector is right here 
and the fan and ventilation holes are here on the side. About four and a half pounds, just under five. The specification sheet says 4.65 pounds is how much this is supposed to weigh. So there you have it. The uh, $420 HP laptop computer with an Intel i5 processor, eight gigs of RAM and a solid state drive. What more do you want? Now, I'm going to be following this video up with a first boot and Windows update video. I will do a Windows performance review. I'm going to open a bunch of uh, uh, web browsers and a bunch of programs, and I'll stress it to just show you just how capable it really is for $420. I'll also try some games on it. It's not a really meant to be a gaming machine, but I'll load up you know, some of the games I mentioned, such as Minecraft and World of Tanks and, and such, just to show you that it will play casual games, if not heavy-duty, hardcore games. So did you like this video? Click like. Did you not? That's okay too. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button right down there. If you click it and subscribe, it's free. You will get notifications and updates to future videos, including the performance reviews and the first boot and all the fun stuff with this laptop and the other ones. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, those go in the video description, uh, below the video description in the comment section. I do read your comments. I do reply to some of them and I absolutely appreciate you taking the time to comment if you have anything to say. Side note, I buy everything I review on my channel. This was not a free sample from HP or anyone else. I bought this off of Amazon with my own money. I buy everything I review. The links in the description below will go to both Amazon and Newegg. Uh, check out both places and see which one costs less. They are affiliate links. They do pay me a small commission and it does not change your price in any way, but it is my primary revenue source for this channel. It's what I use to pay for all this stuff that I review. Without your support, I can't keep doing this. So if you like my how-to guides, my upgrade and installation guides, my performance videos, my unboxings, and anything else I do on my channel and you want to support me, the links in the description below are the best way to do that. And I certainly appreciate it if, uh, if you can certainly help me out that way. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you next time.